Japan's emotional victory over Finland at the Men's Fiber Basketball World Cup has left Chinese fans envious after their own lackluster start to the competition and down on their chances of qualifying for the Paris Olympics. A fourth-quarter charge led by diminutive defender Yuki Kawamura saw co-host Japan become the first Asian team to win a match at this summer's tournament, which tipped off last Friday. Japan outscored Finland 38-15 in the final 10 minutes and 3 seconds to overturn a 13-point deficit as Kawamura scored 25, including a 3-point play with 4.35 left on the clock that gave the host the lead. Do you have questions about the biggest topics and trends from around the world? Get the answers with SCMP Knowledge, our new platform of curated content with explainers, FAQs, analyses and infographics brought to you by our award-winning team. The 22-year-old added a three-pointer about 40 seconds later and Japan pulled away to knock Finland out of contention from qualifying from the group. Tominoga Kisi scored 6 of 9 and 4 of 7 three-pointers, scoring 17 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists and 3 steals, in a win which left Japan on 3 points from 2 games after an opening loss to Germany. That was a crazy game, Japan head coach Tom Hovas said. We were down 18 at one point, but the guys just never gave up. It was looking kinda bleak out there. The young guys, Kawamura and Tominoga, came in and gave us a really big boost on the offensive end. Tominoga was active on defense, too, which is really important for us. The fans were amazing. That was a big win for us. I'm really happy for the guys. We are trying to create a new standard here for Japan and this was definitely a big step in the right direction. Joshua Hawkinson, a 28-year-old naturalized player, also chipped in 28 points and 19 rebounds for Japan, who next faced Australia in their final group game on Tuesday. But it was the performance of one 72-meter tall Kawamura that caught the eye, with the tournament's official Weibo account hailing his small body, bait power. When will the China men's basketball team produce a defender like Yuki Kawamura? One fan on the Twitter-like social media platform asked. This Yuki Kawamura is simply a hot-blooded Japanese hero. It makes me really sad to see that a defender of this height cannot have any chance in China. From football to basketball. We have been pulled away too much, another wrote. Yuki Kawamura is not even the shortest player in the Japanese men's basketball team. This Yuki Tomikoshi, who is holding Laurie Markkanen, is only 165 centimeters. In our country, let alone playing basketball, I'm afraid he'll be mocked. A lot of fans voice concerns Japan's performance at the tournament could see China miss out on qualification for next summer's 2024 Olympics. With the top-ranked Asian team set to qualify automatically, China faced South Sudan in their second group game on Monday, following an emphatic opening loss to Serbia at the weekend. This is a fact we have to accept, a fan said. There is a high probability the Chinese men's basketball team will not go to the Paris Olympics. The team that can go is Japan, which has been assigned to the group of death. They only rely on themselves. After watching this game, even if you really don't want Japan to win, because it means it will be more difficult for the Chinese team to enter Paris. You still feel Japan's game is too good, read another comment on Weibo. Yes, there, Japan's ability level is far behind the Chinese team. But at the end of the game, I really felt that the Chinese team was not worthy of Olympic qualification. One user wrote. Other fans were just left feeling envious of the emotional scenes in Okinawa 
with the crowd and many players reduced to tears after the match. The scene of the audience celebrating and many players crying including Watanabe Yuta. It's quite passionate, and as a Chinese fan, I also want to experience it, said Wang. Alas, when will the Chinese men's basketball team make us cry once again, another asked. Full of memories, I look forward to the boys of the Chinese men's basketball team bringing us the same excitement, come on, a more optimistic fan wrote.